Hi everyone, here's a quick presentation of the Universal Camera plugin. So here, as you can see, I can move around with uh, smooth movement and uh, rotate the yaw, rotate the pitch and zoom with some scaling and do a bunch of other things, which I'm going to show you. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to create a new blueprint class from the Universal Camera class here. And I called it Universal Camera BP. And inside the class defaults, you have a bunch of different settings. Uh, inside Universal Camera Plugin. So you have the starting position if you want to override the player start uh, uh, and you can change the location of set your pitch and zoom. You have basic movement uh, so you can change uh, the speed of your movement, offset, rotate and zoom. I I'll talk about offset a bit later and you have some scaling for the zoom. Uh, you can also move uh, up and down so you have uh, an option for the up direction here. Uh, you have auto positioning in order to adapt your camera to the terrain. So for example, if I check this and use world static, now if I hit play, as you can see, my camera will uh, adapt to the geometry of my level. Like that. And you have uh, some options, you can uh, uh, change the distance of the origin from the ground. Um, you can use the camera camera height if you want to be able to to go um, below uh, surfaces that are tagged with your collision, collision channel. And always see origin, uh, things like that. Uh, you also have uh, a basic uh, edge swirling, so if I check this and now if I go close to the edges of my screen, as you can see, I'm moving around. Uh, as you can see, we have some strengths, so as I get closer to the, to the edges, I'm gonna go faster. You can disable it if you want. And you can also change the sensitivity, so if I put this value, for example, the, the lesser the value, the closer you will need to be to the edges. Like that. Um, you also have screen sliding. Uh, so screen sliding is kind of the same thing as you do when you hit your middle mouse button on your browser. So you will be able to slide uh, the camera. Um, so, for example, I'm gonna uh, use this widget, uh, directional arrow, which is just gonna be the widget on the origin uh, of your mouse when you hit the, the, the key. So, here it's gonna be my middle mouse button. And as you can see, I can slide along like that. And I can also use this um, in order to move the offset, the yaw, the pitch, and yaw on pitch. So here, for example, I can rotate uh, my camera only with my mouse, like that, and I can still move around. And you can also invert the X and Y axis. Uh, for the lag, the lag is what makes the camera movement smooth. So, for example, if I disable uh, movement lag, as you can see, the movement is uh, not really uh, ideal. And if I enable it, you can see we have smooth movement. And you can play around with these values. I found 5 to be a pretty good value, but if I were to put 1, for example, now I release the key and you see the time it takes to get to the de desired location. Uh, if you want to see this, you can enable draw debug spheres where um, the yellow sphere is going to be the desired location and the green sphere is going to be the current location. So yeah, I find 5 to be a good value that you can, you can try to play around. And you also have the restrictions. So the restrictions allows you to put constraints to your camera. 
um, you have restrictions for the location of set your pitch and zoom. So for example, if you want your pitch uh, to not be able to go uh, below uh, minus 90 or above minus 10, which is the case here, I can go here is the maximum or the minimum and here is the maximum, maximum pitch. And same thing for the zoom, um, the yo, the offset, and the location. Uh, if you want your camera, if you, if you have um, a square or rectangular um, map, for example, you could use this to set the bounds of your map. But you also have the dot shape. So dot shape allows you to create, um, to place some dots on your map and create segments from these dots and the camera won't be able to cross the segments but it will be able to slide along the segments so for example um, you can use a, a raw um, 2d positions like that but the best way to do this is to create your own uh, actors i created a simple actor called dot it's just a basic actor with a sphere in order to to see its uh, its mesh in order to see it. So I'm gonna put a bunch of dots uh, to set the bounds of my level. I'm gonna delete this. So I'm gonna do something like, like that, for example. And now I'm gonna go inside my level blueprint and on begin play, uh, first, I'm gonna get uh, my uh, a reference to my uh, camera, so I'm gonna cast to Universal Camera BP, and I'm gonna set constraint dots. And here you can set the, the dot uh, locations, and uh, I created an array of dots. So the dot is just the um, uh, the actor I created uh, with a sphere. Uh, and so I'm gonna add them one by one. So since I placed them in the right order, I just need to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I will uh, get actors location 2D. So it will convert the array of actors into an array of 2D locations and feed it here and that's it so now if I hit play oh wait a minute I just make sure just make sure that you enable the constraint location to shape so that's good and now if I hit play I, I'm gonna um, draw the debug spheres for you to see as you can see I can't get out of this shape so that's a really cool way of drawing the edges of your level and of course uh, if you have uh, if you have a map like um, in uh, age of empires for example you just need to put four dots in the edges uh, of your map and you can draw uh, a lot of different shapes with this and the good thing is that you can slide along all right, um, and I think that's it for the settings. So now we're gonna take a look at the inputs. So the inputs are really simple to set up. So I have my, um, I'm gonna show you quickly, not plugins, project settings, and inputs. So here I have my different inputs. So I have a move forward, move right, Etc. And uh, I'm gonna use this inputs here. So move forward, move forward, move right, move right, rotate your, rotate your, etc. I also have move up. Uh, I can move up and down. Uh, for the screen sliding, you just need to toggle it, uh, activate it, and uh, deactivate it. Um, I also created uh, this 
thing in order to be able to control the camera with my, with my mouse. Uh, so uh, here it corresponds to the left mouse button. So when I hit the left mouse button, I toggle is mouse controlling. And when I release it, I uh, disable it. And uh, I, I have two inputs, the mouse X and mouse Y. And uh, whenever my mouse, I'm uh, mouse controlling, uh, I will move right and move forward depending on the axis value I fit it here. So this allows me to simply, I will remove the, uh, like that. Uh, now I can um, drag uh, the camera with my mouse and I can move around like that. Uh, so with this simple setup, you can do this. Uh, what else do we have? Um, you can follow an actor. Um, so here I'm gonna place a simple actor. Uh, I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna remove those dots for now and uh, disable um, this logic inside my level blueprint. So I can be able to move more freely inside the level and the restriction, uh, location, dot shape, I'm gonna remove this. So I have this moving block, which is just gonna move in random directions and I want to follow it. So I'm gonna use the C key. So C keyboard, whenever I press C, I'm gonna get all actors of class, uh, just to show you. Um, moving block, uh, I'm gonna get a reference to it. And I'm gonna use the function follow actor. So whenever I press uh, C, I'm going to be following the actor. As you can see, my camera is following this actor. I can still rotate around uh, and do my stuff. However, I can't move because, uh, of course, my, my position is updated to be the same as this actor. But what, can, what I can do is use the offset in order to still be able to move around. So right now, I can't move. But if uh, for my movement I get uh, is following any actor and plug the, this inside my offset. So now whenever I'm following uh, any actor, I'm going to not be moving my camera, but moving the offset of my camera. Um, and you can use this for the other uh, methods uh, to, to uh, move around. So you could set for example uh, for toggle screen sliding because all of the different uh, options that you see here are dynamic you could change it to offset for example here and set it to offset and set it back to its default whenever we're done but i'm just going to show you with this and when you stop following uh, the actor uh, in this case i'm going to use v uh, stop following so now I will stop following uh, any actor that I'm following. And uh, what you need to do once you're done is to reset the offset, of course, because we, once we stop following our character, we may need to reset the offset back to its, uh, uh, to, to, to view the origin of the camera. Uh, reset offset. So now if I hit play, now I will press C to follow the actor. And as you can see, I can still move around. And the origin of my camera is still here. I'm just moving the offset. And I'm also moving with the actor, of course, because I'm following it, uh, which can be used the, in a MOBA, for example. And you can also set bounds to the offset to not be able to go too far from the object you're following. And now if I... Uh, yeah. Uh, now if I press V, I'm going to stop following the actor and reset my set back to the origin, like that. Uh, so yeah, you can use this. I'm going to comment it, follow actor. Of course, uh, you will probably have uh, ways to choose what, uh, which actor you're going to follow. Uh, yeah, it's up to you. Um, 
save and load you can save and load uh, so you can use the functions get save you have position save format which is simply the position of your camera so the zoom or offset uh, position location uh, your pitch etc and you also have get setting save format so here it's gonna save all of the different settings that you have here uh, so if you change them during runtime you can use this in order to retrieve them uh, it can be very useful if you have a, a menu for your user uh, and your user can change uh, some of these settings uh, you can save uh, his profile uh, using this um, and you can load of course uh, load uh, position and load settings so you can save uh, the position and the settings using this and yeah uh, here's the, the documentation um, camera info you can get uh, yeah 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 that's important whenever you're moving or doing things with your camera uh, you will need to you will never need to set actor location for example instead use set desired location this way it will take the lag into consideration and even if you don't use um, if you don't use lag uh, use this instead uh, set desired location set desired offset etc set desired zoom and you also have a big node set desired position if you want to be able to set all of them in once in one node and uh, same thing when you get the location don't use get actor location uh, like that but instead use get desired location and get desired uh, offset get desired rotation get desired zoom this way you will always take into account the movement lag and yeah and i think that's it i think we are done uh, save and load focus actor we saw that so yeah and uh, if you like the camera don't hesitate to send me an email uh, or give me feedback suggestions uh, and report uh, things that you find uh, and whatever <laughs> thank you for following the this video until the end and yeah i hope you will have fun with this camera and don't hesitate really to to come to me and tell me uh, if there are some features that you want to see implemented. So thank you and see you in the next video.